amphibious aircraft or flying boats are a special kind of seaplane. They have a built-in hull instead of a traditional fuselage with pontoons. In the early aviation days, flying boats became very popular for transatlantic travel. These aircrafts are versatile. They can land on almost any body of water, which made it easier to start new services. For passengers, flying boats were much better than smaller, noisier and cramped land-based planes. Their large size offered a comfortable experience. How large did flying boats get and how widespread was their use? In this video, we will look at 10 of the largest flying boats ever made and rank them by their wingspan. Number 10. The PBY Catalina One of the most recognized aircraft in the world, the consolidated PBY Catalina not only serves in the US Navy but also with the air arms of Britain, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, the Netherlands and the Soviet Union. The aircraft boasts an impressive 104-foot wingspan and a sleek 63-foot length with a remarkable maximum takeoff weight of around 16 tons. What an engineering marvel! The PBY was involved in almost every major operation in World War II and figured significantly in defeating the U-boat menace in the Atlantic. The iconic PBY Catalinas served in military aviation until the 1980s, showcasing their unmatched reliability and versatility. At number 9, the Bereave BE-200. The Bereave BE-200 Altair is an amazing multi-purpose amphibious aircraft crafted with care by the Bereave Aircraft Company and brought to life by Urquhart. This versatile marvel is perfect for firefighting, search and rescue missions, maritime patrol, as well as cargo and passenger transport. It boasts an impressive capacity of 12 tons of water or can accommodate up to 72 passengers, making it incredibly useful. Measuring about 107 feet wide and 105 feet long, it truly commands attention in the sky. As of May 2023, 10 BE-200s proudly serve, including three with the Russian Navy and one with the Algerian Air Force. It is remarkable to note that the BE-200 is the only amphibious jet aircraft capable of discharging substantial water amounts per hour. At number 8, the Shinmeiwa US-2. Get ready to be amazed by the Shinmeiya US-2, an extraordinary amphibious aircraft that can effortlessly take off and land on both water and land. With its incredible ability to handle rough sea conditions, even with waves up to 10 feet high, it stands out as a true hero in the skies. This makes it perfect choice for rescue missions during intense situations like storms, tsunamis or maritime emergencies far from shore. It can soar into the air from water in just 900 feet, way shorter than most seaplanes. As of now, seven impressive US-2 aircraft are proudly serving with the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force, dedicated to vital search and rescue missions. What a remarkable contribution to safety and rescue efforts! Number 7. The AG-600 Kunlong At roughly the size of a Boeing 737, the AG-600 Kunlong is considered the world's largest operational amphibious aircraft in terms of overall size and performance. With a stunning windspan of 127.3 feet and a length of 121 feet, all while boasting a maximum takeoff weight of 53.5 tons, this remarkable aircraft isn't just large, it is a powerhouse as well. As a firefighting marvel, it can carry a massive 12,000 liters or 3,170 gallons of water and scoop it up from lakes or seas in just 20 seconds. Plus, when it comes to search and rescue, it can transport up to 50 passengers over 2,000 kilometers from shore, making it the ultimate hero in oceanic missions. Number 6. The Brief A-40 Albatross The Albatross is an incredible Soviet or Russian amphibious jet aircraft that was designed for thrilling missions like anti-submarine warfare and maritime patrol. Measuring approximately 140 feet in both length and wingspan, it is the largest jet-powered amphibious aircraft ever constructed. The A-40 features advanced technologies that were ahead of its time. The twin turbofan engine enabled it to achieve greater speeds, 
speeds greater than those of turboprop amphibious planes, such as the Shinmeiwa US-2 and Bereave BE-200. Its powerful engines can take off from water and heavy payloads even in challenging conditions. However, only two A-40 Albatross prototype were built before the project was cancelled following the dissolution of the Soviet Union. At number 5, the Convair R-3Y Tradewind The Convair R-3Y Tradewind is an exciting piece of aviation history. Developed for the US Navy in 1950s, this remarkable turboprop flying boat has set the transcontinental seaplane record that still stands today. Not only was it one of the largest and most advanced flying boats of its time, but it also showcased innovative design and multi-role capabilities. The R3Y2 model featured a hinged nose that opened while floating on water, facilitating the easy loading and unloading of vehicles and supplies. However, despite its impressive specifications, it had a brief service lift due to mechanical issues. At number 4, the Dornier DOX the Dornier DOX was an incredible German flying boat to launch in the late 1920s, and it proudly held the title of the largest and heaviest aircraft of its time. Designed for luxurious long-distance passenger travel, it earned the charming nickname Airliner of the Sea. Approximately three of these aircraft were constructed. Although it faced challenges due to the technology of its era, its innovative design featured an unusual push-pull engine arrangement, with six pairs of engines on the wings. This fascinating configuration was essential for managing the aircraft's impressive weight. With the ability to carry up to 100 passengers on transatlantic flights, the DOX was truly a marvel of ambition and vision in aviation history. At number 3, the Martin JRM Mars The Martin JRM Mars is a four-engine flying boat that was originally crafted for the US Navy as a long-range military transport during World War II. Though only a limited number were produced, this magnificent aircraft evolved into the largest operational water bomber ever, playing a vital role in firefighting for decades. Imagine its impressive wingspan of 200 feet and a length of 148 feet, allowing it to transport up to 133 troops or carry an astonishing 32 tons of cargo across vast distances. With just seven Mars aircraft ever built, it stands as one of the rarest large aircraft in history. The last two operational Mars water bombers gracefully retired in 2015, leaving behind a remarkable legacy. At number two, the Saunders Row Princess. Introducing Saunders Row Princess. The largest all-metal flying boat ever built, it was a massive British flying boat designed in the late 1940s. The British aircraft aimed to provide a luxurious long-range passenger experience capable of crossing the Atlantic with style. The Princess was envisioned as the flagship of post-war luxury air travel like the Grand Ocean Liners of that era. It could accommodate between 105 and 220 passengers in first-class comfort, featuring amenities such as full bar, lounges and sleeping cabins for overnight flights. However, it was rendered obsolete by the rise of land-based airliners, which had taken over transatlantic travel by the time it was completed. Honorable Mentions Have you ever heard about the incredible super-heavy amphibious aircraft that was never built? Imagine a colossal design, the Bereave BE-2500, longer than 400 feet, with a wingspan exceeding 500 feet, surpassing even the Antonov AN-225 Maria. It was designed with a maximum takeoff weight of 2,500 metric tons, hence the name Bereave 2500. One of the most ambitious concepts for the BE-2500 was its potential use as a mobile launch platform for space missions. It could transport rocket payloads to high altitudes before launching them. However, the BE-2500 was never constructed due to a combination of technical, financial, and practical challenges. What a fascinating vision for the future of aviation! Number 1. The Hughes H-4 Hercules Famously known as the Spruce Goose, Hercules is one of the most legendary aircraft in aviation history, designed and built by Howard Hughes. It was intended as a massive flying cargo transport for World War II, with a wingspan of over 320 feet, the H-4 held the record for the largest wingspan of any aircraft for over 70 years. Even modern giants like the Antonov AN-225 Maria and Airbus have smaller wingspans. 
despite its record-breaking size, the H-4 flew only once in 1947 and never entered production. It remains the largest wooden aircraft ever built and is considered a remarkable engineering achievement. And that's it guys for today, but we'll see you again in our next video, until then, bye bye.